Recently, Pike County Sheriff's Office obtained a new canine unit from Canine Working Dog International. Two-year-old Addie comes from the Czech Republic and is ready to aid the department in various ways. She is also certified in patrol, narcotics detection, and tracking. We got her through uh, Canine International. Uh, she actually came from the Czech Republic, and uh, as you can tell, she's a she's a beautiful dog, very very intelligent. Uh, you know, she's certified in several different things: uh, trap, uh, tracking, uh, narcotics, uh, patrol. She's our new one, and uh, like I said, she's a beautiful dog and and very very smart and very friendly. She's young and full of energy, and so. We expect to get several years out of her. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare. Plus, most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. Addie will be active in Pike County Schools, helping deter young students from drugs. Overall, she makes a friendly and useful addition to the Sheriff's Office. We'll be doing 80% of our time in our school system. We got five high schools, ton of feeder schools. Uh, we'll be going to classrooms. It's like off Shelby Valley Tuesday. We're, we're not there to, to cause any problems. We're there as a deterrent to make it a better place for the kids, the students, staff. And that's, that's our main goal. Uh, that's the reason we chose the breed we did. As far as the giant schnauzer, instead of a shepherd or a traditional Belgian Malinois or that nature is because they're a little bit more level-headed. They're they're clear thinking. Uh, Canine Working Dog International. We spoke with them before we even picked a dog. What we was looking for that there's going to be around kids. There's going to be in schools, and we needed something a little clear thinking. And and she they worked hard. David Cowell and Jason Fields at the jail worked real hard to to find her and. They did a great job when they got hurt. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.